looking for a wine, Larry, that I'm on a budget because I drink a lot of wine and uh, something around 10 to 15, no more than $15 because I want to buy several bottles. I know, I'm on a budget too. Hi, I'm Larry Baker. I am a certified level two sommelier and senior wine and spirit specialist here at ABC Fine Wine Spirits in North Miami Beach, Florida. Well, I saw a post that a friend of mine, Jana, if you're watching Jana, uh, I used to work with her at Shima Brazilian Steakhouse. Um, she posted, she shared a post that really hit home with me because it's right where a lot of people are thinking, especially me, because I, the post showed a picture I think it was a monkey or a, a dog or some kind of animal, but the message was more important than the picture. And it said, I'm stuck right in between paying the bills and you only live once. I get that because I grew up in Brooklyn, New York with a brother, unfortunately, that sadly passed away at 28 years old, never got to live his life. Both of my parents died at the age of 60 and spent their entire life with no happiness. Uh, because they were all putting it away for when they turned 65 and were going to move to Palm Springs, California and play golf and retire. Unfortunately, they never got to retirement. I'm sure Luke Perry had a lot of plans for his future too. And uh, sadly, uh, he passed away at 52 from a massive stroke. And we see this every day in the news, I'm sure, as we're speaking or you're watching it, that sadly is part of life, that you don't know, people make a bucket list, they say, that's on my bucket list, and none of us, you, me, or anybody, every day we wake up, nobody actually really knows for certain when they're going to kick the bucket. So there really is a point where we work, 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 work to pay bills, but then I'm right in the middle of, but you only live once, and should I enjoy that money or just pay bills my whole life and work and hope I make it to retirement to enjoy some of life? And that's how I think about wine. Yes, I try to keep those wines at $10, $15 every once in a while, but you know what? Every once in a while, you also have to say, I'm going to go a little above my normal budget. And I deserve it because while I'm alive now, you know, it's like people who sell their wines for years and years and years, and then they collect them, they don't drink any of them, and they wait, you know, they wait to the last minute, and then it goes to their grandchildren or somebody, or the wines are not even good anymore. They open up a few bottles, and they turned out that they let them go too long. So let's show you some source and certified wines that we have here at ABC Fine Wine and Spirit that um, I think would be a little above the everyday budget, but something that you owe it to yourself while you're still on this earth and alive and live one. So let's start off with a um, uh, one of my favorites. Let's see what I got in a little basket for you. Pinot Noir. I always talk about Oregon Pinot Noir. I just reviewed this wine last week. Uh, the Drouhan family is originally and they're still making wine in Burgundy, France. And uh, Veronique Drouhan and her brother Philippe are making that wine in Oregon, in Willamette Valley, Oregon, 100% Pinot Noir, used in Burgundy barrels that were used and custom made in Burgundy, France, uh, uh, sent just to the Drouhan family, Oregon, with their slogan, French Soul, Oregon Soil, at $46.99. Uh, you owe it to yourself to taste this 2015 Pinot Noir. It is probably one of the best of the 15s that I've ever tasted. It would fool a lot of people because on an uh, on an on a, on a unripe or a very ripe year in Burgundy, rather, this would fool people that this was Burgundy. I know a lot of people uh, argued with me a little bit on that uh, post when I reviewed the wine last week. Also, Stuart Bodecker and his wife Athena Papas. I always talk about their single vineyard stuff. Uh, they don't make a lot of their single vineyard. Usually about 150 cases. In the old days, it used to be about. 50 cases only a year. Now they're up to about 150, 200 cases only. Uh, out of their best uh, three or four vineyards that they make, this is the Cherry Grove vine Vineyard, the single vineyard uh, from uh, the uh, Willamette Valley, Oregon. Uh, is that the Appalachian? Yes, Cherry Grove, Willamette Valley, AVA, and the single vineyard. And it goes into uh, uh, a lot of their Bodecker wines, but this is all from that one single vineyard. This is in the, the $49.99 price range, $50 Pinot Noir. Delish, delish, single vineyard, only available in Florida at ABC Fine Wine and Spirit. There's not much of it, like I said, they only make a couple hundred cases. Uh, if you like Nebbiolo, Nebbiolo is made uh, usually in Piemont. You could just get Nebbioli, but it's used in the three towns of Barolo, Barolo, Barbaresco, or Gatinara. And then also in the Langhi area, they use Nebbiolo, and sometimes they blend it a little bit with other grapes. But this is Gius uh, Giuseppe Traversa. 
I have always loved this estate bottled uh, wine from a single vineyard. Uh, this is the uh, Sori Chiabat, uh, the Canova Reserva, 2010. This is uh, uh, made by the, uh, him. It's a family winery, it goes back a couple generations. This is the 2010. I remember the uh, 2009. This is 42 bucks. This is so ready to drink right now or for aging. Another great selection of Italian wine importer Nadia Galati and Alberello imports, but I used to carry this at Shima and sell it for a lot more than this. At $42.99, if you're ready for a Nebbiolo that's ready to drink today, I think this is more friendly and more fruit forward than a, and a gorgeous bottle by the way, uh, than a Barolo right now, even though it's both Nebbiolo, different style. Then I've got in the basket, treat yourself to a Chateau de Pop. Chateau de Pop is one of my favorite areas in the Rhone Valley with Grenache and Syrah. This is from the Cazesse family. I love, I have so many older bottles of the Maine de Seneschal. Uh, this is $39.99. That's a splurge, but boy, is this a great food wine, a steak wine, great with lamb, roast, I mean, just anything off the grill. Um, if you're a vegetarian, a vegan, I don't know, no, no, anything with mushrooms, earthy type stuff, you can still enjoy this beautiful red wine. This has got a lot of years ahead of you. This is 15, gonna need about an hour in a decanter, but treat yourself to a Chateau de Pop. Look for the Pope hat, the new house of the Pope. That makes it official, and Domaine Chenessau and the Cazes families are really, really do a great job with Chateau de Pop. And finally, when it comes to champagne, you know how much I love Jean Noel Haton. But we still have a few bottles of these at $69.99. If I get the box open, I'll show you. Probably don't break it. It comes in a nice little magnetic gift box. This will be a while, folks. Don't worry here. This is the Hat Tone Extra, but it's the vintage that makes it important here. Um, this comes in the box. Let's take it out of the box. How about we just show it in the box? Here. This is the 2005. At least you know it's secure. You can ship it. Uh, to somebody or take it on a plane, uh, put it on your luggage. It won't, it's not going to move much. I couldn't get it out of the box. But this is the 2005 vintage. Let me see. Oh, there you can see it better. 2005 vintage hat tone extra. I have had people tell me this drinks better than some $300, $400 champagne. It's just absolutely delicious from Jean Noel hat tone. I was there in, in Damaray, but it's the fact that it's a 2005 vintage, one of the better vintages out of champagne. And what a presentation in this box. You owe it to yourself. Buy yourself a gift. This is my favorite champagne really in the whole store at 70 bucks. You know how much some really good vintage could be, two, three, four hundred dollars a bottle. I'll put that up there with that. So, for any further information about these special treat wines and the 30, 40, up to $70 of the most expensive wine I showed today, uh, you can go to our website, abcfws.com, or hook me up and I'll give you some more special treats to uh, just by joining my blog. Put your email address, you'll find many ways to contact me. Remember, you know, I understand the budget thing, that wine is not for snobs. It's for everyday people like you and me, but remember, you only live once, so treat yourself every once in a while.